In 2023, nearly 50,000 lives were lost in motor vehicle crashes across the United States. With roughly 284 million vehicles on the road, traffic safety remains a critical concern. Most crashes are caused by human error, and for many crashes, the drivers commit more than one error. There's a lot of new technology available on vehicles today that's intended to reduce the consequences of human error and human limitations. Acting as an extra set of eyes on the road, Advanced Driver Assistance Systems, or ADAS, utilize innovative cameras, sensors, and radar technology to alert drivers of dangers on the road, helping to stop accidents before they occur. Technologies that people experience on a daily basis would be something like the blind spot system or those technologies aimed at helping us park. Those are bits of tech that, as drivers, we experience on almost every trip. By contrast, some technologies that are aimed at helping in crash critical situations, like automatic emergency braking, deliver in a big way, but they aren't technologies that we experience on a regular basis. A concern that I have about people's perceptions related to ADAS, especially people who've been driving with these systems for a while and have had some positive experiences, is they might believe that these systems are foolproof. And as we recently learned in our upgraded evaluations of front automatic emergency braking systems, we looked at 31 vehicles that had aced our tests at 12 and 24 miles per hour. And we subjected those same vehicles to a battery of new tests. And 10 out of those 31 vehicles failed to stop for a stationary vehicle at 43 miles per hour. 18 of those vehicles failed to stop for a stationary motorcycle at 43 miles per hour. So while these technologies are delivering big benefits, they still have a lot of limitations. EDAS only works if it's accurately calibrated. Misalignment, even by a single degree, could cause a car to react at the wrong time or not at all. They rely upon uh, radar units and cameras and sensors to identify and respond to what's going on on the vehicle. And so it's important to note though, that with these, they're only effective when they're precisely aligned to the manufacturer's specifications. And so when we think about a misalignment, it can happen for a variety of reasons. It could be something as simple as a fender bender, it could be getting a windshield replacement done, or even your car going in to get alignment. And so if a recalibration doesn't occur, you're putting the driver and everybody else on the road at risk. For example, imagine your car's forward-facing camera is off by just a few degrees. That could cause the car to brake unexpectedly. It could cause the, the vehicle to swerve in a direction that you weren't expecting. And the driver at that point won't even know it's what's going on or if it's wrong until it's too late. ADAS calibration requires advanced tools to ensure a car's sensors are accurately aligned with the manufacturer's requirements and that the vehicle operates as designed. The specifications will vary based on the technology on the car, even though the feature is the same. So, for example, with emergency braking, there could be multiple components, depending on the manufacturer that control it. Now, in order to achieve proper calibration and following the OEM guidelines, you may be finding a center point, be on a level surface, the tire pressure needs to be the same, you know, weight in the vehicle, sort of multiple steps before you can actually start to calibrate the car with the proper targets. And those targets are OEM specific targets at specific measurements and distance so that the car can learn where those items may be in order for it to brake properly in an emergency. ProTech goes above and beyond to ensure the accuracy of all calibrations from multiple standpoints. One is the training that we provide our technicians. It's also the fact that we connect with every OEM to grab those specifications or guidelines. And then it's also the tooling in the field. So you need to make sure you have all the proper OEM targets and guidelines. Whether it's current developments in lane assist or future advances in autonomous driving, every system needs to maintain accurate calibration to keep drivers safe. We offer our customer this tool that we call ID Cubed. And the ID stands for ADOS identification. That tool actually looks at the repairs necessary on the vehicle and will then allow us to know what needs to be calibrated based on what's installed on the vehicle. So for most people, they don't realize there's not a light on the dash that tells you that something needs to be calibrated. Therefore, the only way to go check it is we've got to go plug into the vehicle with a tool that will give us information. We couple that 
with the estimatic data from the repairs, and it will then tell us what needs to be calibrated on the car. So that's how we start the process. So that's how you become accurate with it from that standpoint. So it now says these two items need to be calibrated. Then you go through it, do we have the proper setup, tooling, training, and then once it's done, you know, we're gonna have the printouts and documentation from the tools that will tell us it's within specification, but you're not done. Then we have to go drive the vehicle. We need to make sure that we document that it actually performs the way the OEM intended it to, to perform. So you have to finish with a test drive to ensure that everything is done properly. As vehicles are becoming more advanced, calibration is becoming one of the most important and overlooked aspects of driver safety. It's not only after a crash or repair, it could be in the process of buying a used car and understanding what's going on with the vehicle. And there's no easy way to tell if those ADOS systems are working properly or not. The car may look great on the outside, but you don't know what it looks like on the inside. And those safety systems are essential when you need them most. Asking about calibration is the first step in improving driver safety and ensuring that systems continue to operate as intended.